imagine being able to create a high quality video just like this one right here for absolutely free. Now you can create realistic videos just like this one right here, or you can create a 2D animation. As you can see, the quality is really good. You can also go ahead and create a 3D animation just like this one, or any other kind of style that you want for absolutely free. Now, before we get started, if you're new here, we talk about AI tools and how to use them to make your everyday work easier. So if you're not yet subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button. And also remember to like and share this video so that more people can benefit from it. Without wasting time, let's get started. Now, the first thing that you want to do is go over to Google and you can go ahead and search for this website right here. I'll leave the link to this in the description box below. So once you're here, you can sign up using your Gmail account or any other email address that you have. As you can see, they have a really simple interface. Right here, you'll see all your charts. Next, you have the model. You can go ahead and select the model according to what you want to use the tool for. So for this, since you're generating videos, I'll leave it at 2.5 plus. Now, remember, this is a large language model, just like DeepSeek and ChatGPT. But with this, we can go ahead and generate videos as well. Now, to do that, we'll click on this video generation option right here. So right here, you can see examples of videos that you'll be able to create this tool. Now, you can go ahead and choose the aspect ratio of the video that you want to go ahead and create. And you can do that by clicking on this drop down menu right here. As you can see, there are several options that you can choose from. So in this case, I'll go ahead and choose 16 is to 9 since that is the size that I want to use. Next, you need to go ahead and input the prompt of the, of the video that you want to go ahead and generate. So this is where you're going to input your prompt right in this prompt box. So let's just go ahead and do that. And to start, I'll just go ahead and input a very simple prompt. I'll say I want a cartoon video of a boy that is walking his dog in the park. So once that is done, now click enter and the video generation process will start. So this is actually going to take a couple of minutes. So I'll just go ahead and fast forward this part. So here is the ready video. Let me just expand it. So as you can see, the video is actually of really nice quality. So this is a 2D animation. And as you can see, it's actually really, really good. Now let's go ahead and try to create a 3D animation video. So in this case, I'll just go ahead and input another simple prompt. And I'll say I want a girl that is just walking to school. So again, I'll hit enter. And then I'll just fast forward this part again. So the video is ready. Again, I'm just going to expand this so that you can see clearly. So right here is the output video and as you can see the quality is actually really really good. Now let's see how this tool will do when you give a very detailed prompt. So let's see if it can go ahead and execute it as well. So this is a very detailed prompt that I created with ChatGPT. Next I'll just go ahead and choose the aspect ratio that I want to use. So for this I'll use 16 is to 9. And next, I'll just go ahead and hit enter. So let's see if this tool can go ahead and execute such a prompt well. Now I'll just go ahead and fast forward this part. So the video is ready. So let's just go ahead and see what we got with this. So let me just go ahead and expand this. As you can see, the quality of the video is actually really good, but when it comes to executing the prompt exactly as I gave it, this is actually a miss. So if you're using this tool, you may want to use simpler prompts for better execution. So now let's go ahead and see how this tool will do with a realistic video. So as you can see, we've been generating 2D animation, 3D animation. So how will it do with a realistic video? So let's go ahead and give it a prompt of a realistic girl that is just walking down the street. So again, I'll just go ahead and hit enter and then I'll just go ahead and fast forward this part. So the video is ready. Again, I'll just go ahead and expand this so that you're able to see it really well. So here's the video and you can see how detailed it is. You can see the movement is really, really natural and realistic. You can even see the phone that is reflecting the light in her face. Like the video is really, really good. So I'm actually really impressed with this. So now I'll just go ahead and input our last prompt. So let's generate one last video. And in this case, I want it to be a realistic video. I want to see if it can actually do as well as the previous video. Or maybe we'll see, maybe the previous video was just a fluke. So let's hit enter. And again, I'll just fast forward this part to the part where the video is ready. So let's go ahead and expand this again and let's see how it did. 
again you can see that this video is actually very very realistic the prompt execution is on point so if you really want to do well with this tool i think you should just go with simple prompts don't try to overcomplicate it so that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching if you have any questions about this or insights or concerns make sure you put that in the comment section below i'll be more than happy to get back to you on it so go ahead and try this tool let me know what you think and i hope to see you in the next one bye bye